Hey guys, this is Krista from Vintage Magnolia Photography. Today I am in my office, um, kind of on the fly here because I started a project about the time my kids got home from school and the time I started supper. So, kind of in the middle of a million things, but I wanted to record this so that you have an idea of how to make this particular project. So today I'll be teaching you how to make a felted wool blanket, um, dry felting, and so the products that you'll need to do this are a piece of felt. This is a nice, nice thick piece of felt. I got this from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a dry felting tool. This is also from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a skein of yarn. It actually only takes maybe a half a skein of yarn. It doesn't really take very much. Um, this is wool based yarn. There are some synthetic products in it but mostly wool is kind of the main product. Um, Lion Brand Wool Ease is what I'm using right now. This seems to work better than the synthetic, just polyester type of yarn I'm finding. Um, and you're also going to need a thick piece of foam. And let's not forget the glass of wine. This is just to get me through the evening with my children home. So, what you're going to want to do is start, um, I've kind of already started, you can see that, but you're going to want to start with some yarn that is about a foot long and um, you're going to take the very top of it here and you're going to pull it apart and of course now that I'm recording it's going to give me problems but it usually pulls apart pretty easily. Just pull it apart like that which is going to give you two pieces and then what I do is just depending on the desired look that you're going for um, you could leave it, I suppose you could leave it like this so that it's a little bit more textured um, I do leave some pieces like this in my felted wool blanket, but some, most of them are usually um, taken apart like this so that it's a little bit more of a soft textured kind of a look. So then you take your piece and sometimes I fold it in half like that or sometimes I leave it long like this. It just depends on what you want to do and how long you want your pieces of, of wool to be. So you can see I've already started. But you're going to go around the whole outer layer of your felted blanket. You're going to take your felting needle and just punch it into the felt and the foam just like that. You need to be a little bit careful. The very first time that I did this, I actually broke my needles on the very first try. So I had to go back to Hobby Lobby, buy a new one. So just be a little bit careful that you're getting it nice and straight into the nice and straight into the foam and you're holding it um, nice and firm as well. So you're just going to keep going all the way around, all the way around your blanket, all the way around the outer edge with the longer pieces of wool yarn. Then you're going to want to cut some pieces that are about, I'd say maybe a quarter of an inch less than this piece. Um, you could go even a little bit more if you wanted to. It just depends on the look that you're going for. You can kind of look at your blanket and get an idea and a feel for what you want for your newborn photography. So you'll go around the whole outer edge and then you will um, cut those pieces and then go around the next layer and the next layer and then the next layer. And it took me about an hour to make my first blanket. This is my second one that I'm making. and the first one photographed beautifully. It was, um, you, I used more of a, a creamy colored wool fabric and this one is more of a brown. So it's nice to have a couple of different options for my photography. I hope to make a few other colors as well, some teal, turquoise, purple, things like that. So um, I will just have to show you the end product in just a little Okay, so this is the finished product. Looks like a little baby newborn nest. This is the back of the felted blanket. All of the yarn has been pushed through. It's actually very stable. It stays in, in the felt. It doesn't pull out or anything. You can tug on it and it stays in there. My only issue has ever been that sometimes on the very bottoms, this pulls out. And if it pulls out, I just kind of give it a little gentle pull and then I push it back up there. It all sticks 
to itself fairly well, so I haven't had much of an issue. Uh, the only issue I've had is if it's up against like flowers or um, more of um, fabrics like garlands or things like that, then that's when I have an issue. Otherwise, it's been great. So um, that's about it for this evening. Thank you very much for watching Vintage Magnolia, and I hope to have you back. Thanks.